I want to start by saying down with Pol Pot. It was my friend Dark Synovia that first brought it to my attention that the Fat Controller was back, and I thought at first, oh, Fat Controller, he is back, so what, let's ignore him. But then after both Chad, Antifa, and Fellow Traveler and Ewoks Unhinged made video responses, I decided to read the entire blog. So I was repulsed with what was said about my friend Chad, Antifa, uh, also known as Fellow Traveler. I actually... I really didn't agree with that post, and I... Uh, it, just, it, it, was, it was terrible. Now, what was said about me and Comrade Net actually kind of made me laugh. I mean, the one about the so-called plots of uh, Chancery Franga is even funnier. Uh, I've now read all seven posts, and I realize that the fat controller is Vladimir Petrovashki. It's got to be him. I mean, it's got to be the same guy. Originally, there was a YouTube channel in, from 2015 that was shut down in March 2015 called The Aryan LGBT Warriors United Against Communism. I don't know how that works, but, you know, whatever. That channel was pure cancer, and it offended a lot of people, rightfully so. You know, Vladimir Petrovashki, that YouTube channel, had only four videos which were aimed at dehumanizing black people when it was removed by YouTube's terms of service, and then, well, he blamed me. Then, in December 2014... Uh, pardon me, for, the 14th of December 2015, Petrovashki made a video called Re, a Marxist Analysis of Stalker Available Now, and he shared that video with me on Facebook. I told him he should drop politics and switch to comedy, because he was not very good at it. Anyway, after that, he sent me you know, some death threats, you know, ha ha ha, you're stupid. He went on to haunt my channel many times after that. In fact, he's featured in two of my mailbags, and take a look at these clips of my mailbag. I have evidence Jason Unruh is actually a Nazbol and the grandson of one and only Trotsky. This is great news for us real national socialists who try to defend the name of socialism because we invented it. Jason Unruh, the fat maple, Canadian maple leaf, has denounced our glorious state of National Socialist Ukraine and its great accomplishments, which would not have been possible without National Socialism. I regress. Jason, you are the enemy of the world and must renounce Jewish Marxism and convert to true socialism, National Socialism. Holy fuck, that comment was so cancerous. Here is another clip featuring the cancerous statements of Vladimir Petrovashki. Jason, you fat nub, you are just wrong about f Facebook. I just like it every die. There are absolute lie, nothing wrong about it. If there was anything, something seriously wrong with you, you are the cancer, not Facebook. Because you exist on Facebook, you get turned into cancer. Please leave your fat nub ass from Facebook so it won't be cancer anymore. Vladimir... Are you okay? Now, Vladimir Petrovashki has constantly made fun of my weight, but the joke's on him because the last I ever saw of him on Facebook till now, he's now fatter than me. Uh, karma, maybe? I will leave a link to the blog in the description for everyone to see. It seems Chad Antifa and the Ewoks called him out. He stopped writing his propaganda. Uh, by the way, to my friend uh, Comrade Net, yes, he is an incel, but... It's worse than you realize. It's highly likely that uh, Vladimir Petrovashki may be a self-hating Jew. I'm, I'm not sure. No, on his old on his old Facebook, I used to see pictures of him in what is clearly the an Orthodox Jewish community. I'm pretty sure he's a hacker. So if you see him spamming your channel or Facebook or any other platform, it's it's up to you to what to do. He's, he's I I think he's a crazy incel and delusional. This brings me to another point. The use of Pol Pot by fake leftists and even actual ideological leftists that consider Pol Pot a great meme for leftist propaganda. Stop it. You give inspiration to the fascists when you do shit like this. The Glasno gang needs to break it up. It needs to break it up yesterday. I remain civil with no more libs, please, 1975. He's the current leader of the Glasno gang. I've not attacked you guys, but you need to stop. I also need to further explain something. Fellow Traveler may call himself a guy on the internet, but he does actual Antifa work. That is why I call him Chad Antifa. And as far as Comrade Net goes, he is a street cadre. I back real work. 
I do not back the Glasno gang. There is no tolerance for Nas bullshit. There is no tolerance for fascism. So I'm going to end this with a video that I did on August 28, 2020. And how many of them sit there jerking off to fucking Augusto Pinochet? Hehe, <laughs> he loved you right to the commies. First of all, you're not going to do shit. You know how many, many of you losers said you were going to do that to me and then you didn't? Probably because, well, I can defend myself. And as we've seen, that you fucking pussies can only shoot unarmed people.